Hello everyone, my name is Flippy, and wow, did Volition ever make me eat my own words. In my last video, I was very critical about the Meet the President trailer and how it was basically just the announcement trailer version 1.2 with little to no new information. But now Volition released a gameplay video, and it's actually pretty impressive, so let's take a look. Alright, first off, notice this continuing floating debris off to the left here. There's also a huge alien ship off in the background. I think it looks really nice and adds a lot to the environment. And here the boss goes straight to kicking some ass. It's still not known if these unique attacks are randomly generated or if there's something you can do to choose the attack that you do. Also, that was a new taunt. Now, I'm on the fence about how they've changed the way you switch weapons. The old way was really unique and it was one of the things that made Saints Row stand out. It allowed you to quickly switch to whatever weapon you wanted to in real time. So you shoot an enemy with an AK-47 and you finish him off with a shotgun with no problems. The way they interrupt the gameplay here could be a good thing or a bad thing, but I think it'll just take a while to get used to. Also, the left and right bumpers are going to be utilized for something. And this is the Inflato Ray. Now notice that you have to hold down the trigger on the pedestrian for just a little while before he finally just explodes and dies. So maybe you can just enlarge him to this state that he's currently in, let go of the trigger and he'll just be stuck like this and you can just blow up a bunch of pedestrians and just have them walk around in big head mode. Some more wrestling style moves. And coming up next, we have the infamous dubstep gun. And really, I don't really like this gun. I'm really sorry, but I, th I think the effect is cool and having the people dance and the car shake is really unique and amazing, but I hate dubstep. I'm sorry, if anyone likes dubstep, then that's fine and this gun will be awesome for you. But me personally, I just think it's such an absurd genre of music that it's either something that you love or you hate. And I just hate it, so I'll probably never use this weapon. And here's the monster truck version of the Enfuego, called the Enfuego XL. This is the only monster truck style car that we've seen so far. We also saw it in the first trailer as well. I love the way it crushes cars too. It was so satisfying to do it with the tank in Saints Row 3, so I'm glad they brought it back. Alright, so the baseball bat and the stun gun will be returning as melee weapons. I really love the in-depth style of customization they added to the weapons. I think they could go further with this, like have rocket speed or increase fire rate or something, but from what I see here, it's looking very nice. This video doesn't show if we can downgrade though. They removed the levels, which is a good thing, but some players might want to play with weaker weapons, so hopefully they give you the options to drop down to a slower reload rate or have weaker rockets. They don't show it in this video, but the Super 6 is modeled after the NES Super Scope. Whoa! That is a Super Soaker. Fuck yes! But I'm still waiting on my goddamn Beverly Hills Cop 3 boombox gun. Make it happen, Volition. The 45 Shepard is also back and... whoa. Notice that as soon as we got to level 3, all the cops started to morph into aliens. This portal is an awesome way to spawn enemies, but I have a feeling it's going to drive me insane. This round floating robot thing appears, and I swear I've seen it before. I think it's supposed to be based off the Star Wars remote. Notice the one alien highlighted. I'm not sure if that's the player doing that, or if that's the alien doing something to himself. Normally when we see something highlighted, it has a blue glow instead of a yellow glow. It looks like they kept the easy, medium, and hard difficulty rankings for activities from Saints Row 3, but they've also added the rankings Bronze, Silver, and Gold. I'm very excited for this. I really miss the old way they had different levels from Saints Row 2, because I felt that it made the activities last longer and gave a better challenge, where in Saints Row 3 there really wasn't enough to make it last, but I think that these rankings offer a fantastic way to keep the activities challenging. Not to mention, this mech is awesome. It doesn't look like you can fly for that long though, but hopefully that can be fixed with an upgrade. I have no idea what this other energy bar does. Now it seems that if you end your combo with the minimum requirements to beat the activity, the activity will simply end and you'll get stuck with whatever ranking you get up to. This means if you want to go for gold, you'll have to get a high combo regardless of the time limit. 
a dancing mech. Motherfucking Saints Row. And now we're getting on to the second part of the video, which is the moment that we've all been waiting for, actually, and that is the demonstration of superpowers. This is going to be pretty fucking awesome. I'm not going to lie. Like, wow, that's actually extremely fast. Faster than I thought it was going to be. Notice how the character dips his head here. I think this is the result of running and holding the jump button at the same time. Okay, okay, DAMN! This is awesome! According to the leaked achievements, you get the achievement so high for being airborne during super jumps for a combined 10 minutes of gameplay. And now we have taken off into the sky. Really, I'm kind of astonished by everything I'm seeing. It's shaping up to look really nice actually, like, this looks way better than the trailers in my opinion, which is saying something considering this is just gameplay footage, but everything looks really smooth. New gun under the assault rifle category, and notice how the superpowers take up where the grenades were in Saints Row 3. Maybe they've been moved down here. Also, I just realized, they're not calling it the 45 Shepherd here, they're calling it the 45 Fletcher. I don't understand the reason behind the name change because it looks like the exact same weapon. This is the death from above attack. You get an achievement called Fist Meet Ground for killing 100 aliens with this attack. A lot of brutal attacks going on here. Notice how the aliens have a bloody explosion at the end of each of these attacks. Most likely, by the time this game gets released, the aliens' heads will explode as a result of these attacks. Notice how gang operations are now called flashpoints, and there are 32 of them that you'll have to complete in Stillport. For demonstration purposes, the player has infinite everything. Judging by this bar on the right here and the way it flashes, you'll use up some of your energy every time you use your powers. Now he's demonstrating the Freeze Blast. You get an achievement called Chill Out for freezing and shattering 100 aliens with this attack. By the way, I love the fact that you can slide cars around. Now he just switched to his telekinesis powers without going to the menu. I'm assuming he did this with a d-pad, so there's still a way to change your combat without pausing the gameplay. Once again, note that as soon as we get to level 3 notoriety, the cops morph into aliens and a portal appears with the floating robot. Also, throughout this whole video, we've been seeing these little blue plus signs drop on the ground with money. These act as mini health packs. Every time you walk over one, you gain a little bit of health back. And here the boss picked up a trash can. This is really awesome because picking up any object as a melee weapon was definitely a fan favorite from Saints Row 2, and it appears that we somewhat have that ability back. This bad mofo is called a warden, and it is very scary. This is a new taunt, and it's from The Matrix. And that's going to do it for my gameplay analyst. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope it was helpful for you. If you have any ideas or any theories or anything that I missed, please leave it in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys later.